Hey, what's up, my guys, and welcome back to Stormworks. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at a proof of concept. Now, this is functional, but not finished. And honestly, I'm not sure it is all of much use. As this is a TV guided missile. Now, compared to some of the other missiles I've worked on, it's really bulky, it's really complex, and honestly, the function that it serves is a bit meh. Now, all of the missiles I've worked on have their pros and cons. The main one I've been using as of late has been this one. This is a small, simple, radar-guided missile. Compact, cheap, simple, easily bolted to stuff. The big downside of it is, well, it can easily be blocked by chaff. Okay, now what if we make that manually guided with a laser? Well, this works just fine. The problem being, this needs a line of sight and a direct and constant contact with the enemy. If that line of sight is ever broken, this missile loses all functionality. So then we come to TV guided. The idea being, you launch it and you guide it by hand through the camera, flying this like a simple drone that is intended to detonate. It's intended to fly into and crash and explode. Um, and you may have noticed back here is another one of these radar guided missiles. This one, just for the fun of it, is intended to be a man portable, um, like ATGM carrier, where you just carry the missile, you set up the missile, and then you launch the missile and then it finds something and goes after it that's not what we're here for today what we're here for is this now essentially what is going on here before we get to the fun part and shoot it is on the front is a camera that is sending data through this antenna that is being received that is our main site now on this side we have a antenna attached to the seat which is sending the WAS and D controls into a small antenna into these fins to be controlled. There is additionally a tilt sensor, which keeps the thing vertical so it doesn't spin out of control and so you can easily see what you're doing and makes it much more manageable to actually fly. And all of this is in a one by three package, which I'm actually quite happy with. And all of that together gives you this. You can see the target, and as long as you try and keep that red on it, you should strike true. Hitting a tank that is roughly 1.4 kilometers away with no sight line to it. This can't be disrupted by chaff, however, it is a little finicky, finicky to control, and as such, moving targets can be quite difficult, which admittedly is also an issue with the laser pointer version, whereas the radar guided is really good at tracking moving targets. Now, this is only a single shot, so you'll have to reload this. In theory, you could just put a system to swap what channels the missile is on and what channels the antenna is on and basically just fire them all separately or even I don't even think there'd be an issue if you had them all in the same channel the only difference is the view would have to swap the actual controls could be mimicked and as you can see there's me controlling W A S and D on the missile And one more time, flies out, and you can watch it go. You can watch me steer it, and it disappears behind the hill. The actual effective range of this missile seems to be about two kilometers. Um, if we actually look back at the map, the furthest thing this thing can fly is the windmill farm, which is 2.5 kilometers away. The limiting factor seems to be the video transmitter because even though in the actual workshop here it says that the video let me find it 
the video transmitter transmits out to 10,000 meters instead of 2,000 meters? I don't know. And even when you actually watch the, um, the antenna, it says it's got 90, 95. It only drops down to about 80% video signal. So if I fire this, I can sit and watch 80. Let's see if we can get us heading over to the windmills. I'm going to miss the windmills intentionally just so I don't add in the factor that maybe I'm getting struck by the windmill blades. But 90%, 80%. And it looks like I've just lost fuel. And before I even crash into the ground, I 100% lose video. So I'm not sure what's going on there and what's limiting the range. I've actually put more fuel on this to try and make it like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not glide bomb, um, but more of a, there's a word for it. I just can't think of it. It's not a glide bomb. There we go. That's the word for it. Had to look it up. Cruise missile. I intended to use this as a TV guided cruise missile. However, for some reason, it just cuts out at like 80% signal strength. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, I might have to experiment around with it, but at its current state, it just kind of works surprisingly well. Of course, the downsides are it is large, it is complex, and it's not the best for tracking, but being able to strike something you can't see from 2,000 meters is really nice and one of the added benefits of this is because it's all manually controlled and you can make some really wacky maneuvers I could if I want to and say for example that tank has a heat mesh on it I could actually do a top-down attack that one didn't do the best that one kind of struck into the side anyway let's do one more let's see if we can actually hit the top of the turret like good meaty center strike top of turret missile goes up once it's got an altitude pitch it back down looking for target looking for target target spotted Crosshair on. I could sit here all day and try and get that, like, the perfect money shot. I'm going to give it one more go, and then I'm just going to accept that I, uh, I'm not going to get that clip of me striking the top. I've been messing with these a lot, and they're just actually quite a bit of fun to fly just for the sake of flying them. Top of tank. There we go. Right in the top of the breach. That was good. And yeah. I really can't say too much more. There's not a lot going on in the missile. While I admit it is complex for the sake of how much stuff there is. When it comes to the logic, it's pretty much the seat tied to an antenna. This is just a multiplier. Um... To increase the seat's responsiveness so essentially the seat data multiplied into the antenna the antenna directly into the fins because the first um, and second are w a and s the w a s and d controls are in the first and second node of the composite the video from this goes straight into a transmitter comes out of this transmitter and just puts that little red red dot side on it and into a screen um, as soon as it's launched it arms this fires the rockets this is two-stage rocket the first rocket gives it its momentum and speed the second one is glide the tilt sensor is directly into fins there's not really any microcontrollers on here 
the only microcontroller is just to aim the camera. The camera points down slightly so that the actual missile is gliding with its nose slightly pointed up, which helps keep a nice and decent level flight. If I were to try and skim across the ground here, meaning that I can use that red as a pretty good center of target where the actual momentum of the rocket is going. And it's not quite got enough maneuverability to fully 180, but pretty, pretty close. If we just real quick, just hold right, hold down. Oh, I don't want to hit the ground. Come on. Pull, pull. Good. Almost struck the ground there. Just because I was trying to turn it too harsh and I was losing speed. And there goes fuel. And it crashed somewhere over there. So yeah. Other than just kind of showing off this concept and messing around with it. I could improve it, but I'm not entirely sure what I would improve or why I would improve. Oh, um, I almost forgot. This one down here is just a trim. It's essentially just keeping the missile slightly up. It's meant mostly to counteract the fact that this doesn't have the same weight on the top and bottom. It's just meant to make it a little more stable that way. Yeah. I think that's really all there is to say and all there is to show. It flies. It targets. It's surprisingly effective. But I'm not sure it has a place in combat. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you can enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. And right now, shares help me out the most. So if you do want to help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. That all being said, I'm going to end it out here. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace.